Thank you for taking the time to view our products. This is just a brief tutorial on how to use our FM transmitter and hands-free car kit for the iPhone and iPhone 3G. Now, this particular car kit um, works through your speakers of the car, so you can actually hear the caller's um, voice through the speakers of the vehicle. Now, I'm just going to show you uh, briefly the device and I'm going to show you exactly how to use this so there's no complications uh, when you receive the the product in the mail. Um, this right here, when you get the product for the first time, what you want to do is tighten this bottom piece up because uh, if it's loose it's going to come out inside your cigarette lighter adapter. So all you do is it's just a, a metal knob in here and inside here is your fuse so if something ever happens to the iPhone um, it's I mean to um, to an electrical outlet or whatever and, and a charge goes through it's gonna go through the fuse first so you're not gonna damage your iPhone at all um, and you can always open this up and check to see whether the fuse is blown or not if the uh, transmitter is not working um, as soon as you plug it in you'll notice the blue light now, it has a really long gooseneck, and it's it's bendable uh, in many ways. You can you can move it around. I'm just going to leave it right here, and right here there is um, there's a button you push to open the arms up. Uh, this is just a piece of paper. So I'm just going to show you with a uh, iPhone 3G. There's the iPhone. Um, as you can tell, it is the third generation. It's the 16 gig white. Um, so you're going to place it in the dash and underneath here are little tabs that you can move in and out. Now you want to move it kind of out because the charger outlet is underneath here. Just close it as tight as you can and take the charger plug and just insert it to the bottom of the iPhone. I'm doing this with one hand so it's a little difficult but as soon as you plug it in you'll notice it's charging. So it's getting a uh, constant charge and that's it so we're going to slide it open and down here you're going to see different radio stations you can move this up and down and that is basically uh, your your favorite station so I'm going to go to um, 88.5 or 88.7 in the uh, Ontario, Toronto area. Um, this is one of the most important things. What you're looking for is a radio station that has no music and no news, no talking, nothing. You want an, you want a station that has dead air uh, or just plain static. If you hear any type of voice or music, um, your music and uh, the caller's voice is going to get all muffled and that's not what you want and that might be a complaint of yours and if that's the complaint you have to find a radio station that has no music. 88.7 and 88.5 are one of the best uh, examples in the uh, Ontario Toronto um, area so we're going to set that to 88.7 there and just lift it up place it in uh, the right position there turn it on Okay, and now you're going to go to your actual deck, your radio deck, depending whatever, if it's a turning knob or electrical or whatnot. What um, so you're going to go and you're going to put it to 88.7. So you just need to match that frequency to this frequency. Okay, now you can put it up and there'll be nothing. There'll be no music, it'll just be dead. Um, you can go to your iPod and Let's uh, go to um, some music. I'll just go to um, some 80s. And as you can see, it's clear. You can turn it up. There's no static. Completely clear. Okay, so that's the FM transmission part of it. Now, 
you get this little cable right here, which plugs into the top of the iPhone and the side of the unit. So we're going to plug it in to the side. As soon as you plug it into the side, the music's going to turn off. And you're going to plug it in to the top. Now, this is the part that is very important as well. Push it down. You're going to push it down, but you're going to push it down and make sure that it's in. A lot of people, uh, they just push it down lightly and they say, oh, the product doesn't work, but they have to push it down a little harder so it meets the contact inside. So now, you're still going to have your music. And if I were to dial someone, I could just go to... telephone, listen to music. I'm going to call our office. You can see the number because we state the number in the auction. And what happens is it automatically mutes the song and it goes into the call. So I'm just going to put up the volume a bit. Hello, I'm speaking. How can I help you? Hey, Al, I'm just testing out this unit, okay? Thanks. Okay. All right, thanks. Bye. And that's it. Now, if he hangs up, or I hit end, I'm not going to hit end. If he hung up, it goes back to the music. And same thing if, if he were to call me or someone were to call. The phone will ring, the music will mute automatically, and uh, you could take your phone call. And um, right after you've done the phone call, it goes into the music again. Um, I'm just trying to think if there's anything else that needs clarification with this. Um, that's really it. As long as you make sure that these cords are down right into the um, actual iPhone and the part in there is, is tightened before you start using the device, um, that's really it. Uh, as you saw, this works with the 3G iPhone, and again, it works with the regular iPhone as well. Thank you for taking the time to view our products. Um, you have yourself a great day.